Hey guys and welcome, this video is on the plug-in chest restock. Basically it's great to have auto refilling chests at the end of obstacle courses, or even for the first time a player logs into your server to get the default items to start digging with. So I'll show you my example on this and I'll just give everyone wooden tools. Slash CR gives a list of all the permissions. Then slash CR create creates a chest that will refill. CR set will set the things for this chest and it will display a list of the things you can set. So the first one I'll set is only restock empty. This means the chest will only restock when it's empty and I want to set this to false because I want it to restock whether one item's missing or all of them. The next one we can set is redstone. For this example I'll set it to true but personally I'd never actually set it to true for this type of chest. Because the problem is if a redstone current goes through it will just sort of override the automatic ones and it will refill it anyway. Then the next one in the list that we'll do will be period underscore and then mode and basically this is how often it refills or what event it refills on you can either have it on a timer or a player so player it means it will refill after a player has looked in it or whatever after a period of time otherwise it will just do it after a period of time set restock mode replace this means it will replace the items in there if they're missing or just replace it in general you can also have add so it will add to the items then you've got period, so I've set the period to 10, so it means it'll restock every 10 seconds. Then you've got the player limit, so I've set the player limit to 1, which means the player can use it only once. Then the last one, you've got set indestructible, so this can't be broken by anyone. And I'll set this to true. So now that's the example of it. I'll just take a couple of items out just to show you it refills. Because obviously I didn't set it to refill on empty so it will just refill when I've taken a couple of items out and you can see after the 10 seconds it's just replaced the two that were missing so I'll just take one out and show you again this is the second one I've got it did have the same items in but you can see that one's only restock on empty so it'll only restock when all three are missing so I'll quickly put redstone buttons next to it as well take the items out click the button and you'll see that it'll refill as soon as I press it and this is why it's probably not usable in my case for this sort of chest. And you can see that I've taken the one item out and that won't refill now because it's only refilling when the chest is actually empty. So personally for a refilling chest at spawn I wouldn't use this method either. And you can see the redstone doesn't work on this one because it isn't set. So if I do set this one, when I press it it will actually refill. So you can see it works perfectly. So then also if I want to restock it I can just do slash CR restock and it actually restocks the missing items from the chest. So I'll just break the buttons, take a couple of items out and then I'll de-op myself in a second. So you can see there's just one item in there at the moment and I'll wait for it to restock. So it's restocked perfectly now. I'll de-op myself and then I'll show you that I can only use this chest once. So, oh wait, sorry, I'll just fix this. There we go. So you can see, if I take all the items out of both chests, and then I can run off, do whatever for my 10 seconds, you will see that when I look back in the chests, it's probably been about 10 seconds now, can't place anything because I'm a default user. You can see they still haven't refilled. But if I press the button they will do, so that's the override. So I really like this plugin for the start of my spawn. There'll be a download in the description below. I hope you'll all give it a go. Thanks for watching guys and please remember to rate, subscribe and comment. Cheers!